Hi everyone, it's Eva Pietrzak here from Abundant Results Coaching and today I'd love to share with you some food for thought on how our emotions of resentment or guilt can stop us from achieving our goals. This morning I had a conversation with one of my clients and he wants to, he deeply desires to fulfill his dream of a dream job, right? He wants to get an employment that is totally exactly what he wants. And what we've noticed is he's had difficulty with actually visualizing and getting emotionally involved in that dream employment. And when we dug deep into his memories and what was his association with his previous job, we kind of stumbled across certain level of resentment and guilt about something that happened with previous employees. Lawyer. Now, some of the sometimes those things are cluttering your mind, and you don't even know that these things block your mind. So, your subconscious, the job of subconscious mind, is to keep you away from danger. And so, if you have subconscious fear that, let's say, you manifest the dream job or the dream goal that you want, and in the past one, maybe you experienced some mistreatment or maybe uh, maybe you didn't feel so good, you're going to be afraid at the subconscious level to move towards it. And what you might find is that you may not even be able to visualize it or read that goal or think about it and get going towards it. So I remember when Bob Proctor said, holding resentment towards another person or towards yourself, which we commonly call guilt, is a weird or funny emotion because what it means is you're feeling bad right now towards someone else or towards yourself about something that happened in the past and you cannot change it. And so what we do in that instance to release that uh, resentment or guilt, we use what we call process of forgiveness. Why should we really release a guilt or resentment? Because what happens is you're holding that ball of negative energy inside of you and it's blocking low vibration, it's blocking positive energy and it's blocking you moving towards your goals. So when you're holding resentment, you're feeling bad towards another person, what you're effectively doing is you're holding bad energy and you're deteriorating your goal setting and your goal achievement. The other person is fine, I promise you. So when you're releasing guilt or resentment, you are basically getting rid of emotional and negative clutter from your vibration so that you can move forward very fast towards your results. So how do we do this? Well, what always helps me is to say that the person or myself, we always do the best we can with the programs, with the awareness or with the paradigms that we have and we cannot do better. So let's say you have a boss who bullied you or maybe was negative towards you. That person has a habit of behaving that way or maybe they made a mistake towards you. They did not have access to better level of awareness. So if you understand that people's behavior is based on their paradigms and based on their programming, you can let that go a lot quicker. When you also understand that me holding resentment or guilt is impacting my goal setting and achievement, then you're able to forgive and let that go quicker. So how do we do the process of forgiveness or releasing guilt? Well, I personally love writing letters and I get my clients to write letters often. So how do you do this? Well, first of all, you've got to really understand what's the value of releasing that. You've got to understand that if you hold that ball of negative energy, you are not going to get your goals because you're going to be dragged down all the time into that negative vibration. And so uh, when you really get it, you can sit down and write letters and write letter to the person that maybe hurt you in the past, maybe was negative towards you and maybe write a letter towards yourself if you have any sense of guilt from the past. So um, how do you do this letter? Well, first of all, you start with, okay, this is what I have been angry with you about or this is what I have been holding resentment towards you about or this is what I have been feeling guilty about and then this is what I'm grateful for because because there's always lessons coming from whatever happened and there's always things that you are grateful for. And then, and from now on, I release the resentment that I've been holding around you and I release you, I let you off the hook. And from now on, I know you've done the best you could with the awareness you had in the moment 
or with the paradigms you had in the moment and from now on I take back my power and I decide how my life is going to go. So this is kind of a process of the letter and what you do with those letters, you can write a letter to another person that maybe you're holding resentment towards or maybe towards yourself if you feel guilty about something. I remember, you know, some time ago I had my laptop crashed completely and I had so much guilt in myself that I did not back it up. But hey, I did the best I could with the awareness I had. Even though I had like my disc, my external disc, I still didn't kind of cop on to actually to back it up. And that's fine, what's the point of beating myself up? I can't change the past. So what you do is you write those letters to the other person that you might hold resentment towards and to yourself and then you burn them and you release them and what that does is like literally shifting weight off your shoulder and off your emotions and you start moving towards your goals 10 times faster. So I hope that gave you some food for thought and if you just search through yourself, search through your life, is there any pile of resentment or guilt that you're holding anywhere in your life and just know I've got to get rid of it because you can be doing goal setting, you can be working on your paradigms, you can have your self-image, you can have all the beautiful things but if you hold negative vibration you're not going to get there because it's going to pull you back. So forgiveness is for you, not for the other person, I promise you it's for you. Doesn't mean you have to be best friends with them but you do have to let go of the emotional kind of uh, hook that is being impacting your vibration and your results. So hope that gave you some food for thought guys and have a fantastic week. Take care.